That's there it. There it is. My dad was a part of every match that I played. His teaching and his mentoring were in my mind the whole time. Mr. Everett was a tremendous influence on me. I've never met a more selfless, humble professional in my life. It was always family first. That was very, very clear in everything that he did. My dad told me that he used to ball boy for Bill Tilden, and he played high school tennis, and then he received a scholarship to Notre Dame, and he was captain of the team. And then he played tournaments, and he got to play all the great players. He won the U.S. Indoors, and he also won the Canadian Open. And then he was drafted. And then when he came out of the Navy, he decided to be a, a teaching pro in Fort Lauderdale. He pioneered what I would call family tennis by creating an environment for his five children to come after school, before school on weekends. Four hours a day on Saturday, four hours a day on Sunday. After school, maybe two hours. And my dad always said that the reason he started all the kids in our family playing tennis was he wanted to keep the family together. Holiday Park was like the mecca of tennis in America. It was like an academy before there were academies. It was a place for all levels and all ages, but at the same time, there were seven main draw Wimbledon players training there, including Chrissy and her sister Jeannie. I remember there was Brian Gottfried and there was Harold Solomon. If you were a good junior or a good tennis player of any kind, that was the place where you went to train. But it was more than just the place to play tennis. It was a place to hang out, be with friends, be athletic, and really grow up. Mr. Everett was such a legendary and influential coach and he wanted to be so inclusive of everyone that he would run clinics with 50 people on the court together. He just had an aura about him that was second to none. What made my dad a great coach was he was great at fundamentals. He taught movement, he taught placement, he emphasized not making errors and very much an emphasis on sportsmanship also. I remember him on court just teaching all day long and when you were lucky enough to see him not on the teaching court, he was generally behind the desk, either signing you up for a court or selling you a soft drink. You would often find him stringing rackets and cashiering and running the ladder and lessons all simultaneously. He seldom said no to anyone. I think the beauty of my dad's legacy was that he passed on to all his kids the love of tennis and the love of teaching. Follow all the way through, okay? And we get so much out of it, even more so than when we were players ourselves, and we're very grateful for that.